What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher white. Of course, we know what's going on live right now. <clears throat> as we speak, as we counterpunch, is the media workout, the open public media workout between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. However, everyone on the card will be fighting and working out publicly. Okay, so... Dillian White <clears throat> is the guy I want to talk about when I woke up this morning that he was on and he looks good. He doesn't look like he's lost uh, or suffered some ring rust. I mean, it hasn't really been that long since July. So, <laughs> you know, and I noticed they've been working on things in the camp. <clears throat> and the strange thing about that, the way he's fighting, the way... He's working the the pads, or should I say the, the, the sticks, or the batons, or whatever. You would think he's preparing for Andy Ruiz because he's fighting. He's doing a lot of in-house fighting. He's doing a lot of catching and shooting. You know, he's working the jab. He's tripling it up on the jab, you know. And then he, he he's, <clears throat> he's hooking uh, uppercuts and left hooks off the jab, you know. And it looks good. He's tucking his right in real nice. You know what I mean? Something <clears throat> that a lot of people should start practicing. <clears throat> Mayweather didn't do that for no reason. Mayweather did that for a reason. You know, him and his, you know, his whole family. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he looks good, you know, because this media workout was very long. You know what I mean? This was at least, I don't know, 10 minutes or so while he showed his stuff. <clears throat> And he was ready to go and he looks energized, you know, um, but it's good. It's good for Dillian White. I'm glad to see him on the undercard. It makes that that night that much more interesting because a lot of times these guys could fight each other. <clears throat> and one thing that I feel that Dillian White should understand, he can talk all the trash about Deontay Wilder if he wants and go after Deontay Wilder, but. I think the moral of the story is he should he should go through he should walk or go through the doors that's open to him. I don't really honestly think the WBC was open to him. <clears throat> you know, he wasn't going to fight for the WBC. He wasn't going to fight Deontay Wilder. I think his best bet is to fight the winner out of this fight. You know what I mean? He could have fought Joshua before. However, the money was screwy. That was a bum deal. So I, I can't really fault him for that. However, you know, <clears throat> if we knowing what we know now that Andy Ruiz was able to take that dive, so can anybody else. I know Dillian White is a businessman, but we didn't know or I didn't know <clears throat> that it was that much corruption around this guy. But his media workout looks great. He takes a break. You know, he doesn't look, you know, like he's worn out. He doesn't shine, show any signs of wear and tear, or any of that. You know, he looks quick. He looks fast. He looks alert. And most importantly, he looks focused. So <clears throat> it's really good to see Dillian White back into the ring. You know what I mean? It really looks good. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to Saturday, man. You know, of course, we have AJ's uh, media workout. So stay tuned for that. Again, I'm watching it live. So I believe AJ is actually on. And then, of course, we have Ruiz. So stay tuned for that. But Dillian, the body snatcher, White, he is back. He is in the ring. He does look good. He does look quick. He does look sharp. He does look focused. That's the bottom line, people. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave the link in below to let you guys check out the live chat if you're not checking it out yourself. But tell me what you think about Dillian White. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.